Here's what you missed on the last episode of Random Stick Vibes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you know, I hear in these spaces on like a lot of the YouTube YouTube uh, folks, and they're talking about women taking accountability and um, women not um, listening to each other or listening to the men, and the men are trying to tell them what they want from from us women. Um, how do you guys display? Okay. Oh, let me, let me, let me say it this way. I had a situation where I was talking with someone and I was, I'm sharing my story with them. And the first thing they said was, well, you can't say anything about that because you need to take accountability for your actions. So, um, hello, this was 18 years ago and I just sharing my story <laughs> to you. It doesn't mean that I did not take accountability for it. I'm just sharing my story with you. So I hear people say you have to take accountability, accountability. What does that actually look like in these spaces? Not, not people that, you know, your personal, your family or whatever, they, they may know that you have, you know, grown or whatever, but I've known people that have, you know, have these platforms and they say that all the time. And I'm just confused. I'm like, what are you looking for? You want me to boohoo cry on the camera? I, I don't know what you're looking for <laughs> when you say, well, you need to take account of it. But if I'm just telling you my story or I'm just expressing myself or, or, or answering a question, how can you say that I'm not, I never took accountability for something. So ladies, what does that look like to you in these spaces? of a woman taking accountability. Let's start with Miss Michelle. I think taking accountability just looks different for everyone. I'm a I'm a private person when it comes to like my relationships and things like that. But if I've done something wrong, I accept that responsibility and whatever I have to do to either mend that relationship or just to hold myself accountable, I do that. But that doesn't mean I have to prove it to the world. I prove it to whoever it is that I have to. And mm -hmm. I think that's the problem in that in this space today. People want to see you do take accountability, but it doesn't always have to be seen because it's not right. for everybody to see. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't just, I'm going to pull out a horn and be like, all right, I did X, Y, Z, and I'm accountable now. Like, <laughs> You know, it doesn't make any sense. So, I mean, the person or the people who need to know that I'm be I'm holding myself to the standards that I'm supposed to hold myself to, mm -hmm. as long as they know, then that's okay. I'm I'm okay with that. Now, kind of like how your story, that's wild to me how this person is just like, well, you need to be held accountable. First of all, it's 18 years ago. How do you know I haven't done so already? It's not right. your business. I'm sharing my story with you. It's I wanted to share it with you. Mm -hmm. You know, so I find that's wild to me. However, it is she, nobody's uh, business. She was hating. She was hating. Uh, and th that's what it sounds like. <laughs> but, <laughs> but as long as I know myself that I held myself oh, true so to hating on somebody. Right. <laughs> But that's that's usually how it is, though. That's how you know it's just, basically stop hating. Stop hating. Yeah. I'm I'm accountable. Leave me alone. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> April. Um, I agree with Michelle. I think um, taking accountability is private. Now, like me, um, I do a lot of reflection. I do a lot of uh, transitional things on my show. But the process in which I went through to hold myself accountable and to reflect, I don't have to tell you everything. Exactly. Um, what I do, I tell you the lesson I learned after that. And when I'm telling it to you, I'm telling it to you to help you or to help someone or to use it as a, um, a advice or an opinion to someone else. But I don't have to tell you that I did this and I did that. Right. Um, so, cause everybody, it looks different for everybody. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, she said. Um, I would say accountability looks like when someone is telling a story in their truth, they tell it in a manner in the position as a victim versus their part in it. Mm -hmm. So for Great instance, answer. okay, got pregnant at 15. Mm -hmm. I would say my fault, no protection. Um, choosing to have 
that child was all my decision. You understand what I'm saying? Um, choosing not to have that child, all my decision. <laughs> either right. way, you know what I mean? And I hold myself accountable for either way I made that decision. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't give the other person an opportunity at all to be a part of making that decision. So telling my story that way holds me accountable gotcha. versus saying, you know, I was young and dumb, you know, and I laid yeah. up, and, yeah. you know, he, he had to put it in raw and, mm -hmm. you know, I got pregnant and now I just know, let him put the head in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. it's, yeah. it's the way the story is told. Usually us women, when we give our story, we tell it in a way, in a position of being a victim. I don't want to say, you know, a lot of us are not victims, but a lot yeah. of us want to give all our story because I want you to know why I'm like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You understand? I want you to know my triggers, my trauma. So you are aware. So if you step on those toes, you cross those boundaries, it's going to be repercussions and consequences. <laughs> right. you know? So we tend to tell that story to protect ourselves. So you're not going to really hold yourself accountable to a degree. So I, when I do hear stories, I absolutely don't hear women hold themselves accountable. Usually oh, yeah. it's the name of the other person and, you know, it's what it is. So when we tell it, I mean, play your part. You know what you did. You mm -hmm. know, even at 15, I knew absolutely protection should have been in the picture. You understand what I'm saying? So that was all me. So exactly. hold myself accountable. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I actually... Uh really like what uh, Michelle said. And then when Mrs. She said spoke, um, it is, uh, so holding yourself accountable, first going back to what Michelle said, I think what people say, um, you know, they don't agree with it or whatever, say something opposite is because you're not holding yourself accountable the way they feel you should. Yeah. So yeah, that's the issue. Exactly. Like what Michelle said, they, they just don't agree with you, even though Michelle's holding herself accountable in her scenario. But right. going to Mrs. She said when um, she was mentioned, uh, used for example, getting pregnant at 15, whether she chose to or not to, it was still her decision. And then it was like, don't want to go into having a pity party. So don't need to go into all the details, but I truly believe you go into the details so you can kind of see why you can kind of put yourself in my frame of thinking, not that I want you to agree or disagree. I'm just telling my story the way right. I perceive it, why I made my decision and this is the outcome. But the bottom line is, yeah, I should have used a condom. Yeah, it was raw. Yeah, I made the decision. That is me holding myself accountable. It's not that I want you to agree with me, but I want you to understand me. Right. And that's what, exactly. you know, I think ultimately you can't say if someone's holding themselves accountable according mm -hmm. to your standards, because it wasn't you. You can just be there to listen and um, you know if someone's holding yourself accountable or not. You know, and then you evaluate it from there. But I love, I loved all the examples, um, actually. And 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 I want to say one more thing. I truly believe us women um, do hold other women accountable when appropriate. It's not appropriate to talk in everyone's situation. That's not your 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 place, your business. It's a time. You know? And then I be hearing a lot, huh? It it's used to be though. Everything. It used, it to, used be. to be. It used yeah. to be because we were we were working in a village. We was working as a community together. We're not. You can't tell these like girls nothing now. So they be ready to cut you. Yes. <laughs> and so when these men say us women are not holding women accountable, right? <laughs> I really don't see it that way. I see mm -hmm. it, you know, when appropriately vetted. Because, like you said. Like I'm going back to the lady, a bitch will cut you in a minute mm -hmm. talking about her man, <laughs> telling exactly. her about her man, whether she yep. wrong or right. I ain't telling you her about, about her man. mine, baby. Well, I'm, I'm screwing the man because I'm telling her, but no, that's right. Not right. Okay. See, that's the thing. We're not, we're not telling her about her man. We're telling her about her behavior her. with her man. Exactly. But she'll take it as you're telling her about her man. Right. No, okay, I should take it. I'm going to tell her what I'm delivering. And if she can't logically yeah. understand what I'm saying, then she must have a problem. And sometimes she's right. like that. Right. I mean, 
you know, my friend is not going to come to me with all this jibber jabber about her man. And I'm just sitting here listening. I'm a married woman for 24 years. I'm not going to not have an opinion. You coming to me for a reason. So I'm going to let you know where you acting up at, where you need to check it. Mm -hmm. And that's on you. Either you're going to take my advice or not. You know what I mean? My husband ain't like your husband and I'm not you. You understand? So you're going to maybe take a little bit of what I say and try to, you know, dip it in or whatever. Yeah. You know, cause but the bottom line is you're holding your friend accountable. Not everybody, though. But if yeah. they ask, you know, when right. friends yeah. you, they're your well, friend. They're coming and talking. I'm not just going to, you know, I don't know your situation, but if that's your friend, your friend is constantly coming to talk to you about her man, yeah. which is not something yeah. she should really... Now, if she's coming to me as a married woman and that's the kind of relationship she's having with her, her man, then by all means, she see my shit work. So let right, me go talk right. to my friend and right. see if I can get some insight or maybe change my view on how I'm behaving. Because it right. cannot be all him. Mm-hmm. That's my thing. When friends come to other friends, it seems like we make it all about the other person. But like, mm-hmm. what are you doing? What are you doing to rectify right. the connection between you and your mate? Because it takes both of y'all. Y'all both fucking it up. So you both got to rekindle it. You know well, what I mean? Well, what the OG new new says? You know, <laughs> is you. And I may not be right, but you know, <laughs> that's how I would say. react to my friends. A lot of my friends. See, like you, just time, you, know, you know. That's mm-hmm. perfect. You talk to her about her. It's mm-hmm. not your position to talk to her about her man. Absolutely. That's, that's your said. husband yeah. talking to mm-hmm. her husband. Absolutely. You know, in that situation. Yes. That's yes. And if that's what, what needed to be, about. absolutely. Mm-hmm. The men would absolutely exactly. build together and, you know, go from there. We might even come together as right. a a full right. couple, right? Mm-hmm. You know, talk I, about I think, it. I think a it's lot rough. of times, it's not easy. The problem is now is right. like you know people, because I, I, for me, I don't, I don't feel if it's not someone that is um close to you, because. For an example, like, you know, in these YouTube streets, you are here. Oh, you women need to hold other women accountable. You need, you need, over, you need other women accountable. But if I don't know these heifers, <laughs> this, I'm not like, I mean, I can hold someone accountable by getting on my platform and talking about a situation that's similar and try to encourage change. But to be like, girl. You know you're wrong. They're gonna be like, they look, well, who is you to tell me that I'm wrong? You don't even know me. I'm you know, I, I find it kind of weird when people say that. Um, I think we should we should start with our circle, holding our, our friends, our family, our girlfriends accountable for things like that. And then, you know, when when you know there's a time and a place for everything, when time permits something to somebody that you don't know and that you have to step in and try to, you know, rectify a situation, but you have to discern that situation to know that that person is going to be accepting of what you're about to say. Because if you step to any, any woman off the street, trying to hold her accountable, you're about to get into a fight. (laughs) That's not happening. So I, for, for me, my, my opinion is I think we should start with our circle you know, holding each other accountable. Like, you know, with my girls here on the panel, if I see y'all be like, like, Kai girl, you know, you wrong, <laughs> you know, because we have, we have a rapport with each other, but to just hold people that you don't even know. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence with that. I really am. Rochelle. You, you on mute, babe. For myself, that's kind of hard. You know what? A lot of the women walk around with Dr. Miami on their backside, you know, so <laughs> I just turn it all the way left. Uh, but yeah. I got you. <laughs> um, so, I mean, some like, listen, some of them kind of cute with it, but being accountable, man, it's just one of those things for self. We just got to be able to recognize if it is something that we're doing. And, um, for myself, I just, you know, I had to learn that I'm not always right. I had to also learn I'm not perfect, you know, and I'm willing to be that woman to say, hey, I did not say something, you know, correctly. Please forgive me. Uh, that's my Jesus state. But my before Jesus, before Christ, <laughs> that's a whole different story. But <laughs> I understand. I understand. 
Listen, I understand. And I'm and I still got some growing up to do. I still got a lot of growing up to do because sometimes that before Christ moment come up sometimes, depending on who bringing it to me. So uh so definitely it, it does matter on who's who's saying it. Um I don't know why, but it just it just does. Like everybody can come and correct me, but especially if, especially if you don't know me, and that's why I guess like a lot of people say, um, you know, when you know a person, you're able to stand up for that person. But if you really don't know them or what know where they came from, you can't really you can't really critique them, you know. But I I do I do hear men say a lot. Oh, y'all just about women empowerment. Y'all can't correct y'all sisters. Like no, y'all need to call her. I already had a guy that blocked me because he felt like. He was just as much friend to me as one of my other friends was. And he said, well, no, you always about that woman empowerment stuff. But I'm an always woman empowerment now. Like, I mean, listen, I just, I happen to, I happen to see the gym and all of the women. Like, I see a little bit of myself in each woman. But for me, I know how to talk to them behind the scene and say, hey, that wasn't right. But don't think because I didn't say it out loud that I didn't correct that person. Right, right, Sometimes right. just like, just like Miss uh, Michelle said earlier, she said uh, her accountability might be private, something that she might handle in private. Exactly. Some people they want that public, that public um, humiliation. Mm -hmm. You know, to say, oh well, dang you. Some people like that, and some people are like, oh no, that's boss move because I'm gonna be even going on my Facebook page uh, because in, in Christ talking about the church format, um, a lot of time they say cover. But when some of the saints are coming in and they're trying to say the truth in church, they have a different walk. They say, hey, no, you cover that person. Don't no matter if they're right or wrong, leave that, leave that, you know, leave that to God. But it doesn't work like that. And I remember saying something out loud on my Facebook platform and people was like, Toy, do you know how, how much gut that it took? for you to even talk about that person because that person was on an apostolic level. Then when I went back and I said, hey, it was her birthday. I said, I don't care what kind of beef me you got going on. I still love you. I still appreciate you. I'm going to still continue to respect you. You know, somebody commented on my page and said, do you know how hard that would have been for me? Meaning them, meaning them. For me, I just like I said, it was after my Christ moment. But it took a it took a while because before Christ, listen, I would have been walking around like I'm unbothered. I wouldn't care what you think. I don't mm -hmm. care if it was your birthday, your your whatever day. But now I'm I'm grateful for the Most High. I just got to say that because accountability now is different for me on this side. Yeah. So a question before April goes. Um, you said something about you know when taking criticism for somebody. So when we talking about someone just coming up into you and say, you know, so, so you know, Hey, um, I noticed something, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, I think, you know, you need to kind of tone that down or change that or whatever. Is that acceptable? Or, or, or are you going to be like, I don't know you, who are you talking to? When it's uh, like, like, it, like it, when it's somebody that you don't, you know, like have a personal relationship with. It depends on the approach. Mm -hmm. um, I do not talk a lot about ministry. I came from the street. I know everything about the street. Um, well, just as much stuff. I go say everything because there's a lot of stuff I hear in the street, but I know a lot. Um, and coming from the street side and coming into the church um, format, I had to humble myself. It took a while because I had some older women that was like woman of standard. And then I had some that will just come off and say, you know, say things in a way and they want you to take it. Mm -hmm. For me, I couldn't take it. I don't care if we're in the church format or not. No, it's a way. It's like somebody said plainly, it's not what you say, it's how the way you say it. That that's it, Everything goes back to the approach. I, I believe any person can take anything if the approach is appropriate. Like, meaning if I'm in the street, don't come trying to force church on me if I'm doing stuff, you know, like, like say it in the right way. And I think even as, and, I, and I'm trying to talk to these headphones, I'm really not the headphone type of person, but because of the audio, it was, um, it was flickering a little while ago on my side. Um, 
but what happened was all I would say is we just got to deal with the approach of everything. That's like sometimes we want people to convert over to the Christian side or our spirituality would uh, depend on the walk that we're walking on. But I've had some people from the street that say I would never deal with that God or I'll never deal with that pastor or that apostle, whoever. But when I actually gave them my perspective, they were able to either receive it or to walk away. Either which way, I had to learn how to I, I had to put on my big girl panties and, and ride that thing out and say, you know what? Maybe it's just not the time to receive. But you yeah. got to make sure a person is open to receive. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. April? And that's just my intake. Okay. April? Um, I totally agree with that. I think presentation and how the way you say things um, is to be more acceptable. Like me, you know, like I love steak. You know, I love steak, potatoes, onions. If you give it to me, you know, every time I go to a restaurant, I get it the same way. But if you give it to me, imagine if that waiter gave it to me in a trash can lid. I'm right. going to look at this waiter like you're crazy. Mm -hmm. So it's in the presentation. So if you're going to make me steak, uh, baked potato, put it on a nice plate, garnish it up, I will accept it. So that's what I'm saying. Presentation is everything. When we're talking to each other, when we're talking to men, when we're talking to anybody, it's the way you say things. You can you can lay me out, but it's the way you say it. And I will take right. it because yeah. it's coming to you with compassion and love. I'm going to say this. Christ, whenever Christ spoke, Christ never um, downgraded people. He always spoke with love and compassion. So that's to me. And I had to learn that myself. If I want people to listen, I have to be compassionate about my words. I have to think about what I'm going to say. And presentation means everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Mm -hmm. Kaya, you have anything else you want to say? You're on mute, darling. You, you are mute. See, that's why he's doing it. Okay. <laughs> No, I think, and, and then, you know, the whole time when it's not on me, I'm like, okay, don't forget to unmute. Don't forget to unmute. And as soon as it comes to me. Okay. But uh, I think uh, the two ladies said it uh, beautifully as far as the approach. Mm -hmm. um, but the only thing is because um, when you first gave your example, I was thinking like me personally, like I'm just loud. Like that's just my normal, the way I talk. Mm -hmm. And so is I think some when it comes to me with that, since I know that's the way I talk, I am loud, you know, and and it it, it kind of offends me if someone comes to me, hey, can you be quiet if we're just in a social gathering? Because it's like, well, this is how I talk. So you don't want me here being me. So because I, I have been in that situation before and I don't care how they came to me. I was offended. You know, this ain't the first time you met me. It's the way I talk, you know, and I like to laugh and stuff. So me personally, I do take a offense if it's like something like that and it's about my speech or the how I talk and stuff. So I have to be honest. I do. I don't care if you bring me that steak and potatoes on a nice plate. I'm still looking at you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I am. I am. Yeah. You're like... You didn't bring no A1 sauce. <laughs> right? And a knife. <laughs> don't be bring me nothing. You don't bring me no A1 sauce. That's still wrong. And while you're here, don't forget the ice water. You're right. <laughs> that is so funny. But yeah, I, I do take offense. Yeah, yeah. I think, you know, I think it depends on the, the person's personality and their own temperament of how they receive things. Um, Cause you have some people that are feisty. And so no matter how you come to them, you can come to them sweet as sugar, but because it is something that you are criticizing about them or telling them that they need to change, they're going to take it the wrong way anyway. And I think that is what one of the problems about us ladies taking accountability is the fact that sometimes people can bring the steak on a beautiful plate with some china and silver and A1 sauce and what's the other stuff y'all be using? Ketchup. <laughs> I mean, you know, and lay it out. But because you already have this wall built up, like who you going, you can't tell me nothing. 
So you don't even receive it when it's coming to you in a nice way. So I think that's one of the one of the issues that we as women, we do have. Well, I mean, not not us on the panel, you know, but well, Kaya, she just said she do it. So, <laughs> but a lot of women because do that. Can I can I give you the flip side of that, though? Mm -hmm. So that same scenario that you gave. Right. So that's like I can go up to someone and be like, you talk too soft. I can't hear you. You need to talk louder. But that's me going up to that person with the, that's their disposition. That's how they talk. So that's a, that's me going up to you asking you to change who you are because I can't hear you. I think that's why I talk so loud because I'm hard of hearing. But, you know, that's me. Well, that's just like me, girl, you talking too soft. Can you talk louder? So I don't know. I just yeah. kind of... Um, that's just my flip side of me trying to explain myself more for getting, yeah, don't come to me about my, my, my loudness. I'm loud. Right. <laughs> and the minute you do that, I'm going to get louder because now I'm pissed. Okay, you you you're just being rebellious now when you be doing right. you know? Amen. So, so don't do that. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> No, we, we about to hold you accountable right now. No, 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 no. You should hold me accountable, but I'm still going to talk mm -hmm. loud. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. She, uh, she said. <laughs> you want to say something she said? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, we yeah. But I, I think that's 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 one of the, I think that's one of the issues that people are talking about in these spaces that you know when you do come to them in a certain tone or whatever, and you still don't get the re the results that um, that you were looking for. Cause you know, I, I have had conversations with people, you know, like a girlfriend would come to me and ask and ask me, you know, something. And I tell them, you know, my honest opinion on how, you know, how I felt about it or what I think was right. And she stopped being my friend cause she didn't like what I said. So <laughs> I mean, you asked me, <laughs> so I told you. I mean, I I gave you what you. Yes, did oh, was gone. Amen. Right. Thank the Lord. So it's like mm, you do you you damned if you do you damned if you don't. So I I think we should choose wisely on who we are trying to hold accountable, because everybody is not you know that receptive to you know criticism and whatnot because. I'm too pretty to be fighting nobody, okay? Mm, <laughs> I'm not trying to be fighting. <laughs> okay, not going to do it. <laughs> Anybody got anything else?